I'm going to show you guys how to turn this old couch pillow into this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are making a spooky Halloween throw pillow. I got the know-how from Melanie Ham. Um, I got this idea from her channel, but I picked up some spooky Halloween type fabric from Joann's Fabric. And you see that little that little skull head there with the witch hat? Yeah, that's kind of creepy. I'm really not into skull heads, y'all. Like, I'm a big scaredy cat. But this was so cute that I had to get some. So, um, I got some of this. And hopefully it's enough to make the pillow because I actually didn't measure anything. I, I didn't. Like, I, I wish that I did, but I know that I have to get better at that. But I'm not a person that measures things. Like, I guesstimate and then I create. Let's get started, guys. All right, so here are the tools that you will need. An iron, an ironing board. If you don't have an ironing board, you can iron on like your bed or a blanket or something. Um, I used to iron on my bed all the time before I got an actual ironing board. Your fabric, scissors, needle and thread or a sewing machine and this is already threaded because I was sewing some masks the other day and it's a little messy over here. Don't worry about that. Okay, so first of all, because there are so many creases in this bag, cut it because there's like this perfect halfway crease that they made for me. So I'm gonna cut the fabric down the middle and then we're going to iron it. So I should probably be doing this at an ironing board or like a table or something, but this is real life, y'all. So I'm just gonna cut it like this. Okay. So I have cut the fabric in half and now I have two sheets of fabric. One of these sheets of fabric I'm going to cut in half again because this is going to be a uh, tri-fold pillow. So like with a little flap on it. You guys will see once I'm done, but yeah, it'll be a tri-fold. So I'm gonna cut this again. Not so much in half because I want one side to be overlapping the other. So I'm gonna cut it a little off from the halfway mark here. Okay, so now I have these two pieces and I'm going to iron these pieces, sew these pieces, and then show you guys what's next. Okay, so we are going to get most of the creases out of this pillow this pillow it's already a pillow in my mind get most of the creases out of this fabric here I am going to like roll this down a bit and iron that. This is going to be so that the edges are smooth on the pillow part. I do highly, highly suggest that you use um, measurements and the bottom part right side up I mean yeah right side up and then the two parts that I just sewed I'm placing right side down just overlapping each other just a bit just a bit 
Now this isn't to say that, um, let me scoot this down. So you go, I am going to cut off the parts that I don't need, but I wasn't sure how long I needed it to be. So this, although if I were making this, for, although if I were making this for a gift for a family member, I would absolutely use measurements. It would be, um, I would make it way more professional. But like I said, me personally, I just find the beauty in imperfections and just knowing that I can just go straight to it and get my hands dirty. And I am going to pin these little tiny pins around here. Um, ew. And then I'll be cutting the excess. Okay, so it's all pinned up and I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine and my camera's gonna die, so I'll probably have to finish this up on my cell phone. Okay we'll see guys, so now we're just going to cut off the edges um, of these corners, just snip, snip, snip like that. So that they're a little more, um, they're a little straighter and pointier when we turn it inside out. Snip the edge of all those. Okay. And I'm gonna take this pillowcase, turn it inside out, poke at the edges. See that? You wanna really get that edge out there. Okay, so at this point, what you can do is, um, what can you do? What was I gonna say? I don't remember, but we're gonna get the pillow to put inside of here and see how that goes. So I've got this big pillow and it's pretty old and I'm just going to put that inside of this pillowcase. So here we go, a nice little Halloween pillowcase. The trifold back and the front. <laughs> 